Welcome to this Power BI beginner tutorial, where I'll show you how to build a simple but powerful revenue forecasting model, no advanced stacks or coding required. By the end of this lesson, you'll understand the logic behind monthly forecasting, how to set it up in Power BI, and how to turn it into an interactive dashboard. The first table is called budgets. This includes the total annual sales budget for each city. For example, Auckland may have a sales budget of $4.5 million, but this is just the yearly total. We don't yet know how it's spread across months. Next is the monthly weightings table. This contains the expected percentage of total revenue for each month. For example, January might contribute 7.6% and December might have a bigger share, say 8.8%. These weightings help us split the annual budget into monthly targets. Now comes the magic. We created a new table called Forecast Table using DAX. We combined every city from the budgets table with every month from the monthly weightings table using a DAX function called CrossJoin and calculated monthly revenue like this. This means if Hamilton has a $1.2 million annual budget and January is weighted at 10%, the forecasted revenue for January is $120,000. Now we have monthly level forecasted revenue for every city. Next, we created a small helper table called Month Lookup. It contains two columns, the month name like January and the month number like one. Here's the DAX we used. Next, we created a small helper table called Month Lookup. It contains two columns, the month name like January and the month number like one. Here's the DAX we used. Now this step is very important and a common problem for beginners. By default, Power BI will sort your months alphabetically, April, August, December, instead of showing them in the correct order. To fix that, go to the table tools. Click on the month lookup table. Select the month name column. In the top menu, click sort by column and choose month number. Now Power BI will display months from January to December in the proper order on your chart. Now that we've created the month lookup table with both the month names and their numeric order, the next step is to connect it to our main data table, the forecast table. We do this by creating a relationship between the two tables. In the model view, drag the month name column from the forecast table onto the month name column in the month lookup table. This creates a one-to-many relationship where each unique month in the month lookup table connects to multiple rows in the forecast table. This relationship is important because it allows us to use the month name from the lookup table, which is sorted properly using month number, and display the months in the correct order on charts and visuals. So now, whenever we use month lookup, month name, on the x-axis of a chart, Power BI will automatically follow the correct January to December order thanks to the sorting we applied. It's a simple but powerful trick that makes your charts easier to understand and more professional. Next, we visualized our data using a line chart. We dragged month name from the month lookup table to the x-axis, forecasted revenue to the y-axis, and city to the legend. Then, we added a slicer using the city field. This allows the viewer to pick one or more cities and see their revenue trend across months. This chart shows how each selected city's revenue is expected to perform month by month based on the budget and seasonal weighting. In this example, we can see that Clutha and Dunedin both dip around March and April, then rise through mid-year, peaking toward the end. This tells businesses when they're expected to earn more or less and helps them plan operations, staffing, and cash flow better. So just to recap, we started with annual budgets, split them using monthly weightings, created a forecasted revenue model, built a sorted month table, and visualized it all using an interactive chart. This is a practical way to forecast revenue using simple logic and Power BI, and it's something every analyst or manager can understand. If you'd like to follow along or practice what we just built together, I've got you covered. You can download the exact Power BI file and dataset we used in this video, totally free, so you can explore the model, practice the DAX, and build the same forecast dashboard step by step. The download link is available in the video description below, so make sure to check that out.
Once you've got the file, just open it in Power BI Desktop and start exploring. You'll find the budgets and monthly weightings tables, the forecast logic, the line chart with slicers, and the month lookup table to keep everything sorted perfectly. So head to the description, grab the file, and get hands-on with Power BI. It's the best way to build confidence and master the tool.